all right so in this lesson we'll make the chair okay so this is it's sort of like a like a chair you see in the park okay so that's basically what we want to make okay so let's get started so i'm going to again we'll just take a geometry folder we'll call it chair and i'll hide everything so what you want to do is i'll come to the right view uh, click create in context and i'll create a curve and we'll just you know we'll make it into a nerves curve and this sort of okay so this is good and then i can just take an edit and adjust it like if i want to make it you know taller or shorter or something like that okay so this is fine and then i'm going to do a resample and we will make this into we'll make it smooth basically that okay now i want to create the back for this so i'll take another curve and we'll just draw a straight line like that and what we can do is we can press 2 take this point and do a bevel so we can take a small poly bevel at this point okay and then merge these together and we want to join them so just merge them and then take a join and say a uh, wrap first to last so there you go so this will form you know a proper you can adjust the bias if you don't want the points to sort of move so the end points won't move then okay and if we want we can also give this a little bit of rounding so this forms the basic now what i want to do next is let's take a line that will define the length of my of my chair this will be in the x axis so 1 and 0 and then right click copy parameter and base relative reference divided by minus 2 okay okay so what i can do next is i need two things we need the the wooden planks on top and then we need like a support at the back okay so what i'm going to do is first let's make the wooden planks so i can just i'll duplicate this resample do control c control v like take this but uh, we want like a fixed number of points so let's take about 15 points and then i can take a sweep and we can sweep this we might have to rotate it around so take a transform and rotate it yeah there we go so rotate it minus 90 and make sure that uh, you turn on reverse so you know the polygons will be proper then take a poly bevel and we'll keep this to edges and what i want to do is we want to create gap so if you just increase the distance you'll see that it will generate it will only bevel like the horizontal ones and then we can turn this to none and there you go see so this is basically this will form the the wooden planks and then i can just give it a give it an extrude yeah i'm recording this in the evening so the birds have sort of lost their minds i'm pretty sure you can hear them yeah so just do output back no oh, great okay <laughs> and then uh, we can take another bevel and just you know smoothen this out so again keep this to edges if you don't keep it to edges it by default goes to points yeah and again just you know go fairly low yeah there we go yeah this is good okay so this this forms the top and then what i can do here is uh, for this guy first let's give it some thickness so if you want uh, if you've got the lab tools you know like the game development tools which is now called lab tools you can take like a a lab thicken and that will allow you to just give it a thickness on both directions and just make it about that much yeah so that should be good and then i want to copy it on this but it shouldn't be like the full length okay so it should be slightly lesser than this so i'll just take a transform and scale it down like just a little bit yeah and then i can take a copy to points i'll resample this 
to four points so turn this off and take yeah four points and then we will copy this so this comes in here and that goes in there yeah so if we merge this together we should get this okay so i think like if if this is turning black that means there are normals somewhere yeah this generated normals why did it generate normals is this generating normals yeah i think something is yeah the thicken is generating normals okay um we we'll just take a delete attribute we'll apply normals later so yeah okay fine so this is good see so we have the back made okay and then lastly i just need to create the armrest on the side which is which is which is actually the simplest part so which is just like this two lines and a third line on top so i'll just take a let's take a transform and move it up and so i'll just keep it like here somewhere yeah i think this is okay and then i can just take a line tool so we'll take a transform and you know i'll place it like that and do control c control v we'll place this one like this yeah align handle to world and just move them out and maybe lower the okay and then lastly yeah let's take a third transform and i'll just yeah rotate it 90 and just move it up yeah i think this is good yeah we can probably just move it back a little and then just scale it okay and then we can take a sweep and if we want we can just merge it together and just give it like a uniform sweep or then you can just take a you know take different values and like you can take a a rectangle and sweep accordingly but what i can do is i can just say square square tube and there you go and we can just set this to single polygon and like lower this down to one and just scale it down so this is okay you know like it's not a bad idea you can just take a merge yeah and what you can do is you can take the same line here uh before the transform so i'll just put a null and we'll do a copy to points so we just get two of these on the opposite ends there you go and so we can just yeah this is fine okay, like what you can do is you can take a slight transform and push it out so if i just take this and you know see there you go as i said like you can take a rectangle and you know put that in a sweep that will be fine as well but i'll leave that to you okay and then we can just take the same poly bevel here do control c control v or let's do one thing let's take yeah, let's take a different sweep for this guy so this one i'll make slightly smaller and merge these together yeah okay and then apply a poly bevel at the end over here yeah and then once you've done everything take a normal and then we can just apply a normal to this yeah so just take this to face area and yeah this is fine so there you go that's your chair and then we can come up and then that's a huge chair <laughs> and then we can just scale it down so just take a like you know scale it down a lot and then we can come here somewhere and place it yeah there we go so we have our chair and the tree and everything okay so that finishes the modeling like the basic you know the geometry stuff so now what's left is making the clouds so we'll do that in the next lesson